Hello, hello, hello. Test, 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 test. Can you hear this audio? Please let me know if you can hear me talking. It looks like you can hear me. I don't know. Maybe. Can you hear this, please? Hello. Hi, Tati. Can y'all hear me? Please, audio. You can hear me. Does it sound normal? Like it normally sounds? <laughs> Everything sounds good. Okay. I'm telling you. Um, some days the stream just doesn't want to work. That's fine. Take your time. I, uh... <sighs> I swear, electronics just know I've been shopping for microphones. <laughs> And I've been thinking about getting a new one. And it just knows. Oh my god. Alright. What a way to kick off visiting day. How's y'all's weekend been so far? Honestly, it's that too. It's that this can't be just like an endless stream today. bad that I'm kind of just like oh <laughs> <coughs> it's fine I'm always happy to stream and I always like doing the visiting days but sometimes it's just a struggle it's like pulling teeth to get this thing going sometimes so it's fine I mean just go get in the line and then you can come then uh, that's how this has got to work Um, somebody just brought a whole bunch of DIYs earlier, so I've gotten, I've got one, two, three, four, five, hold on, let me close this so the person can come. I don't know, not a whole lot left. You brought a bunch? Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-eight. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 28, that's it. 28. Hey, I'm doing good, how are you? Well, and I just realized Telly, I don't know if you saw in the... Oh, you did. That you can't fly with some of them? So, like, I can't be brought some of these DIYs. I'm going to have to go and get DIYs. Because there's, like, a whole list of unflyable DIYs that Alyssa posted in the chat that I had no idea was even a thing. So, like... I, it is so weird. Like, I, it's very strange. Also, I am freezing today. And it's not even that cold. I thought the o ocarina was in Nook's, like, big bundle. It might be. I've noticed there's a couple on my list that I thought I didn't have, but I actually have. Thank you to whoever left all these bells. Holy moly. Found out because of Treasure Islands. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Some the, there's still, you know those weird Animal Crossing rules that they just like make up for this game. Like mm, these DIYs, you can't fly, and you can send your friends gifts, but you can't send them uh, fish or bugs 
or whatever, you know, like, <laughs> you the glowing moss jars and you can't find them. I love, that's such a good DIY too, is the glowing moss jars. Bossy, my fan directs my face sweating when I'm curling my hair. Yeah. It was like chilly this morning, but it warmed up while we were out running around getting groceries and eating lunch and whatever. And then, um, just like sitting in this dark room. <laughs> I'm trying to drink water and hydrate as well because I'm supposed to work out this afternoon. And all I've had today is um, an Arnold Palmer, which is not hydrating, but delicious. So. The line is relatively short if people want to go get in it. I do have a hard stop time today. Which is not a common occurrence, I would say for visiting days, but there is a hard stop time. Okay. Oh my gosh, I need, um, I need to play some more, there's so many games I want to play and I just don't have enough time in the day. Wildflowers is so fun. You're seventh in line? All right. You'll be here before you know it. And that'll give you time to finish your lunch, too. Sometimes it's better just to, like, hop in line and then do the thing you need to do, and then it'll be your turn by the time you're done. <laughs> I'm not good at it, but it's so fun. It is such a cute game, too. Oh, then I probably have the ocarina and don't even know it. Um, let's look at everything. How is this sorted? Let's sort... L. The internet's going to be a pill today, apparently. Okay, but I don't have the ocarina. Ocarina and frying pan are in the DIY for beginners bundle at Nooks. Um, and you can bring me gifts if you want, but there's nothing I really need. So mostly I just tell people to bring, like, thank you, I appreciate the thought. But you can bring extras of stuff. Like, if you have extra items that you don't want, or if you have extra like DIYs you don't want. People have come and contributed like their duplicates. You can bring extra gyroids. That's fine too. I don't mind. But there's nothing in particular that I specifically really need. So if you want to come and share, you are more than welcome to. I'm going to go see if we can find this beginner's DIY bundle that I've apparently never purchased in my three years of playing this game. <gasps> I did. Thank you, Telly. I was very excited to see that. Is it this? Will it tell me if I've already purchased it? Yeah, it will. Oh my god. That's crazy. So now I've got the ocarina, the frying pan. Oh my god, that's so funny. <sighs> the ocarina. And the wash tub and the frying pan. That's... So it's in the book of... It's here in... Nook's Cranny. I guess that's why you can't fly the ocarina, because you can just buy it. <sighs> I got the DIY for beginners. I got the DIY testers. Do I have the Wildest Dreams DIY? I do. I know I've got the basic cooking recipes, because I think I have every recipe now. Yeah. That was the only one I was missing. That's so crazy! Okay, anyway. Your size too heavy for someone so pretty. Thank you. That's really nice of you to say. 
My sighs feel extra heavy today. At least now I have it. You're right. You're right. <sighs> Big, heavy sighs today. I'm feeling a little overwhelmed lately by life, and that's okay. Because I don't always feel that way. But that's all right. Let's go with Finger Hearts. Thank you for the heart, me, Meg. I can. If you bring the materials, I will craft you a storage shed. One of the wooden storage sheds. Yeah, if you can't fly them, they must be in a bundle. So I guess that does make sense. That's so funny. Yeah. Beeper, beeper, beeper. You need 30 of each wood, wood, hardwood, softwood, and 10 iron nuggets. There's a line. Um, go watch my first pinned video on my TikTok, and it will explain. Um, my profile is pretty explanatory, or you can join my Discord through my profile as well, and there's um, a direct line there so you can get to the queue. Skylar Gamble, thank you for the follow. <laughs> thank you. I suck at names. I appreciate that. You know, it's okay to feel sad sometimes or feel a little overwhelmed. It's the holidays. I think this is the time of year that we're all going to start feeling that a little bit, right? So, it's fine. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba, ba. But you know what? I've got going to put fresh sheets on the bed and I got my quilt in the dryer. I'm going to go work out today and I'm going to take a shower after I work out. And it's one of the true simple joys in life, I think, to sleep on clean sheets with like a clean body and everything's all clean and you're just like, oh, I'm so cozy and and that's what I'm going to do tonight. <laughs> so it's one of, it's truly one of my favorite simple pleasures, clean body, clean sheets. It sounds kind of crazy, but it's just one of those things. Harley, thank you for the follow. I'm doing that when I get home. It's, you know, it's like self-care because you have to wash yourself and you got to put on fresh. I'm sure nobody really changes their sheets as frequently as you should. And my husband and I were just both sick this last week. So, you know, kind of cleaning out that sick feel. What's up, Maura? How are you? And um, fresh, fresh clean to start off the week. Because I have to work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday this week, and I'm on call on Wednesday, so. You know. Oh, why am I not just in the craftable section? There we go. Baking and reading. Baking, reading, and gaming during my week off. That's an excellent combination of things. Oh. I love that. I love this Ironwood set. I've heard people talk about Treasure Islands before. Can you explain what it is? So Treasure Island is like a hacked switch. It's been it's been modded. And you can go there and just get everything you need. And bring it back to your island. This is similar but different in the way that this is not a hacked switch. This is just my switch. I've been playing this game... For a very long time. This is my original island from 2020. And so I have a lot of extra stuff. So once a month I open my island up. And share all my extra things. And call it my visiting day. And you come to my island. And um, it doesn't cost anything. You just kind of have to wait in line. And wait your turn. And I craft stuff. And I have all this extra stuff. And 
just share it with other players because why not? Good game karma for everybody, right? Max cozy vibes. Y'all, I got the funniest, cutest, comfiest thing in the whole world at Sam's, okay? I cannot wait to wear it on stream. It's gonna be great. It makes me laugh. I was like cackling when I was wearing it. Yeah, Treasure Islands are cool. It's not everybody's cup of tea. I don't travel Treasure Islands personally, and I also don't time travel, but like, I get why people do. I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. So, there's just a lot of different ways to kind of play this game. So, you know. Thank you. You lost your 2020 island. That's heartbreaking. I could never get rid of my original island either. Y'all know my feels on that. <laughs> I tried to get everything for the museum and give it went to a treasure island. I feel that. Yeah, I mean, this game got a lot of us through 2020, so uh, it's holds a special place in my heart for that reason. Hey, Shella, thank you for the rose. And then I take my things off crafted. Oh yeah. Make sure I'm not missing anything in the Discord. Okay. We're good. We're good. All right, here we go. Here comes Courtney. That means Dan is up. Uh, Jesse, I don't know what that was. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You're seeing you with the sunflower on here, but that's you. If I slept weird on my neck last night or what, but I got a weird crick in it, so hopefully I'll get to work it out during Pilates today. <laughs> oh, thank you, Tati. You really don't have to, I promise. <laughs> I'm so glad I finally made it to one of these. Me too. Oh, little country girl. Here we go from Backwoods. Oh, there you go. Yesterday was another retirement party for my father-in-law, and we went and did it at a state park. That's like, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half from where we live, and um, it was beautiful yesterday. The weather was perfect. The leaves turning is everything. It was gorgeous. Like, we had a good time. It was just such a pretty day, and we stayed out there all day. Not that the sun is up very long anymore, but um, we were sitting out there under the stars last night, and I don't, I mean, I live in a city, but it's not, you know, like a big old city or anything, but I don't often get to just see stars like that without light pollution, and it was just, I was just standing there just like, you know, maybe that's why my neck hurts. And I'm just like looking and uh, it was such a good night. But we didn't get home till like late last night. It inspired me to take care of myself a little bit more. Good. Should do a little, a little something nice for yourself. That didn't have to be anything crazy. Self-care looks a little different to everybody. Sometimes it's just putting fresh sheets on your bed and taking one of those longer showers to where you can actually, you know, Wonder what he's gonna do. What's he gonna do with himself now? My father-in-law. Oh, he's got a honeydew list. Uh, <laughs> I 
I haven't picked Mario Wonder up since we last played it on stream. Um, that game requires more mi more like brain power than I've had to give lately. I want to get back to it. It's a great game. I just haven't had the time. Oh my god. I'm sorry, I just had a realization. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm so sorry. I'm fine. I was just thinking about like all the stuff I have coming up. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's it's going to be ironic. I have been I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to scare y'all. I was just thinking like, okay, we've got Thanksgiving coming up and then next week my dad is having gallbladder surgery and so I'm his driver I'm his I mean my parents aren't like elderly but I am we have, there's me and my sister but my sister lives in California um, I'm in Texas my family's here in Texas and so like I'm I'm the medical caregiver if they need help if they need a driver if it whatever and I don't live in the same city as either of my parents my dad's about an hour from me and my mom's like two hours from me in opposite directions <laughs> and so dad's having a surgery next week it's a totally planned thing it's gonna be totally fine i was like okay cool i had tuesday off anyway perfect whatever i just realized the reason i had tuesday off is because i was supposed to take my ct registry i have pushed this test back thrice now and it will be a fourth time i will have to push it back i've been trying to sit for this damn registry <laughs> and i totally forgot about it Uh. <laughs> I I can't I can't man I like specifically because the last one I had scheduled I had sched I had pushed it back because I didn't feel ready to take it and I pushed it back to like a Saturday in October. Well, then we got a wedding invitation to a Friday night wedding the night before I had scheduled the registry. I have had to pay for the test. It was like $225 and it's $10 every time I reschedule it. I'm going to take the test. <laughs> I've just like, I've had to push it back. <laughs> oh my God, Shannon. <sighs> it's fine. No, it's not terrible. The test itself isn't cheap, but, um... It's, it's, it's just funny. It just figures. <sighs> and I'm going to have to push it back to like January now because there's no way I'm going to be able to take it in December. That's so funny. Thank you. I just, comp I, my gosh, I got to cook a meal Saturday cook meal Sunday, both my house, and then surgery the 28th. Telly, it's, you know, I'm so glad we're not participating in this game this year. <sighs> this is fun. I left you some bells. You say you don't need them. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. I just learned I've also never bought the DIY for beginners. Okay, that makes me feel better, KG. Thank you. Bye, Courtney. Tati, you are up. It's your turn. Oh, my gosh. I'll hang out the live for a little while. Yeah, hang out. We're going to have a good time. We're going to laugh. Laugh at life's ironies. <laughs> oh, man. I got a really cool new bumper sticker that I'm super proud of, okay? Y'all ready? <laughs> Tati, it will tell you on the website in the line. 
I'm going to pull my hair out. Tell you, I, I, I feel that. Um, corn dogs. Yes. 100% corn dogs. Love corn dogs. Speaking of Arties, I've lost my wallet. An envelope of money and my mailbox keys yesterday. No. Did you find them anywhere? Got your Happy Home Paradise all set up? Yes, I love Happy Home Paradise. It kicked me out. I'm six out of seven. Here, let me bump you up. If you leave the page, you can't like get the dodo codes. You have to stay on the page and make sure not to leave it. Thank you. Oh, let me go check my fruits. Did you need? Oh, thank you to whoever dropped the bells, my goodness. I did end up finding the last two. My wallet's at a friend's hiding. Okay, good. At least there's that. Julianne, thank you for the roses. We're having a great day today. We're trying. We're trying to persevere through the small annoyances to have a good day. <laughs> I feel good, like physically. I, don't, I feel like I'm over the sickness. I'm still, I'm a little sniffly today because I was outside a lot yesterday in like a state park and I don't go outside a lot. Um, thanks for being an awesome content creator. Thank you. I'm not, I'm not much of an outdoor cat. And so, um, being around like trees and fresh air kind of aggravated my <laughs> sinuses a little bit. I don't do outside. So. It was funny. I was saying that to my husband. I was like, I went outside yesterday. I was in the sun. And he goes, did you step off the concrete at any point? And I was like. I don't think I did. I don't think I entered grass. But I looked at trees and leaves. Lake. Found umbrella codes for cows, chicken, and pigs. Those umbrella codes were so cool. Oh, I did post the dream address. Um, not episode. That's not the word. Stream. Visiting stream that I did um, on my YouTube. And so it is there. And in the description of the channel, I listed everybody's dream addresses. So if y'all want to go rewatch it or if y'all want to... Um, go get the DAs from those islands we visited. It's all go get the DAs from those islands we visited. It's all posted over there. Sea snails. You had a hubby watch it? That's excellent. It was a really good, that was a good stream. I enjoyed that very much. We will be doing that again. Look at all these mermaid options. Love that live. I look like Puka Bear Tales. <laughs> I was telling my husband about it. I was like, I am not playing the same game as some of these people. Like, I truly am not. <laughs> it was fun. Very overwhelming. My island now adding so much more. I'm going to be like, you're going to go and mop my floors. Uh, Em, look at you cleaning and being productive. Good for you. Yeah, I like my island, but it's definitely like function over form. All the all the cute decor people do. 
Come clean my house next. My house is a mess. Also, while I've got everybody here, don't forget, there's this shirt. It's available. Go check out my profile. You'll find everything you need here on TikTok in my profile. Got stickers, got mugs, got shirts. Oh, I do. Mushroom Umbrella and Smurf Picture are amazing together. Oh, yes, I bet that is good together. I just restocked. I have sizes small through 2X. And um, I'm ready to ship. Yeah. Welcome! Yeah, put it on your Christmas list. Send your friends and family to shop for you. There. Good morning! Don't mind me, eat my Skittles. One storage shed coming right up, Tati. Give me just one second. Let's craft. There you go. Thank you. Love the storage shed making. Yes. The storage shed is like one of the best things in the game. So I'm always like, hey, bring the stuff and I'll craft it for you. Your chat box keeps disappearing. And for some reason, my link bar is not showing up either. So let's fix that. That's not showing up either. Did it quit working? I don't know what's going on with this live today. <laughs> Just hit five stars. Congratulations, Lindsay. Did you go get your golden, um, this watering can? There we go. All right, now we're cooking. Went around the emotions. I saw my lily of the valley. Oh my god! See, I love that. That's how I figured mine out too. I was like, "What is this flower? That is exciting! Yay!" All right, Kayla, you are up. There we go. There we go. Oh man, my neck today. Whoops. You took a picture of us? I don't do any best friend requests on um, Animal Crossing. And that's just kind of a general blanket rule.
The villagers are probably upset I haven't played anyone. Yeah, we're uh, we're already friends on the Switch and on here. But I don't do any of the best friend adding. Yeah. I have a couple people that I, like, know IRL that I do best friend, but I don't even think they play anymore. But, um... Not that I think anyone would be malicious about it. But when you do, like, the friending on Animal Crossing, if someone is your best friend in-game, they can use tools on your island. So it's just something to keep in mind for other people as well. So... Oh, did I have a mom cushion in there? Is that what I saw? I already know that one. Okay. There we go. Kayla, Katie, y'all are up, if you're not already here, uh, to come to the island, get some stuff. I haven't hooked up my Switch to the internet, so I'm missing out on so much fun from the sounds of it. The Isle of Visiting Days are fun. Like, Animal Crossing is one of those ones that it's, like, worth having Nintendo online for because you can visit um, other people's islands or if you want to go to a treasure island, um, doing the Happy Home Paradise. Do you have to have um, internet to play Happy Home Paradise? I don't, I don't think so. Yeah, you can totally use that. I definitely probably, like, saw that somewhere and then made it myself, so... How do I keep track of all the DIYs? There's a website called Nookazon. It is not an Animal Crossing related website, but it's kind of like Amazon for Nook stuff where you can make a wish list. And I went, <laughs> I spent my time one day and like went through my DIYs like alphabetically with Nookazon up on my computer and made, and was like, okay, what do I have? Because you can sort Nookazon alphabetically and buy all the DIYs. And I went through and added, made a wish list out of every DIY I was missing. So I'm only missing like 27, I think now. Well, fewer now, 24, I believe. And that's how I did it. There's apps on your phone as well. I probably did it the most difficult way possible. I tried that, but I don't actually participate in Nookazon. I don't like go to people's islands and stuff. I just make a wish list. So I have a list and I can reference. And I know what to look for. Or like on days like this, people want to bring stuff. I tell them like, hey, if you have these DIYs and you have duplicates, I'm looking for them. But other than that, like I've been playing this game for three years. I don't really need anything per se. And people can look at your wish list on Nookazon. It gives us something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you just restarted yours. Yeah. <clears throat> to bring to someone that has everything. Yeah, exactly. Work Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Oh, you have to work Black Friday. I work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday this week, and I'm on call Wednesday night. So, yay. Highly recommend the pink stuff. I've wondered about the pink stuff. I really like um, Scrub Daddy's stuff, and I bought a set that's like a, like a power gel that came with a scrub mommy and I use it in my shower and in my bathroom and stuff. It's incredible. Like scrub daddy can kind of do no wrong in my eyes. They make a really great product. I work at a deli. It really doesn't matter. Okay. I just switched over to one of your YouTube videos. Yay. Uh, fossils. Yeah, I get in the habit where, <laughs> with the uploading of my old streams where, like, I have a day usually in the week where I can go back and upload, like, all the streams I've been doing. I don't typically have a day where I can... I can't usually keep up with it <laughs> day by day. 
yeah, you can subscribe there, or um, there's also a channel in my Discord that you can kind of like turn on notifications specifically for that channel. And when I post videos, um, it'll send a notification. So. Let me pull out some more stuff. There we go. I know I've got a bunch of stuff in here that I've been saving. I ordered some of this stuff with intentions to do things with it, and then I um, didn't do anything with it, so... Have I not sold that coconut juice? Mmm. Told my husband to get a happy home paradise for Christmas. Uh, yes, what a great Christmas gift. Hi, what are you doing? I host my island once a month. I open it up, let people come and take stuff. Kind of like a treasure island, but not... This is all just extra stuff I have. So that's what we're doing today. Today is November's visiting day. Kim? We got a lot of K's in line today. Katie, Kayla, Kim. Bam, bam, bam. Y'all are up. I know some of y'all are already here. I just like saying the alliteration. I was in Pilates the other day and somebody was like, some of the moves that we do, they'll tell us to like, make like a circle with our hands like this. And then we do obliques or, you know, whatever. And she's like, usually it's like hug a tree. But this time of year, she's like, pretend like you got a pie, you got a pumpkin pie, you got to you know, whatever. Don't squish your pie, keep your arms, whatever. And then she was asking us like, what is y'all's favorite thing to make for Thanksgiving? And I said, reservations at a restaurant, because I don't cook. So, <laughs> is anyone else restaurant eating for Thanksgiving? Jenny, thank you for the follow. Here comes Kayla. Yeah, I was at a reservation, so my favorite thing to make. How do I invite Switch friends to my island? I've been playing my since in March. There's a few different ways you can open your island up. Um, you can go to the airport and talk to the guy there, and you can either open it up specifically to only friends that you have on the Switch. Um, you can open it up via a Dodo code, which is what I do, and it's a five-digit, like, alphanumeric code that is specific to you at that moment for you opening your island, and, um, share it with people, and they can use that code to come, but, uh, mostly that's about it. You open it. You let them know your island's open and they can come. Why are my villagers trapped? I don't want them to talk to people. It's easier to keep them out of the way. Be working. I wish I'd be less stressed. Can't probably just restaurant eat for the holidays. Yes, sounds awesome. Eating out catfish meals for Thanksgiving. Yes. It just kind of turned into like with Thanksgiving. Because most of the years I've worked, I've worked either at a place where 
I've had to work on Black Friday or like we're open on Thanksgiving or like when I was working at a bigger hospital in the medical field, like hospitals don't close for the holidays. Um, so, you know, you have to work holidays. It's gonna, it's part of the deal. And it's just annoying to try to travel like on Thanksgiving or we would so. It's just kind of turned to the holiday where we've been staying home the last couple of years, and it's been really nice, just me and my husband. And last year, we went out to a restaurant, and it was wonderful, just the two of us. And we ate a delicious meal, and we took our time, and we just, we came home, and we didn't have to do dishes, and the house is quiet. It was really good. We do Christmas get-togethers with family, but... Um, JV... Pss, pss, pss. Thank you for the rose. <laughs> I assume that's what that that PS 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 is, is like a cat. Um, trap your villagers with fencing. I fence them into their homes, or I fence them into um, the resident services. Been blessed with friends I can cook. Yeah, like my in laws can cook. Um, but it's just never been Thanksgiving's always just been a really difficult holiday for me to get away from work or get it because I've either worked at Starbucks or I've worked in retail or I've worked at a hospital like none of that is conducive to real, like holiday get togethers yeah there was a gifter that has a ps -ps -ps in their name so I was thanking them and I like that it was a party with Snot Nose Daisy earlier to resident services. Yeah, Snot Nose Daisy. Snotting it up on my island today. On all of our islands. If we're not time traveling. You're good. Bye, Tati. Sarah, you're up. <sighs> Time traveled too far. I was going to get Raymond. Ended up with my auto with Tammy. Oh, I was getting the island ready earlier before I opened it up to everybody. And there's like... There's a weird, uh, a weird bear in the campsite today. And then Silvana asked to leave. And I was like, I'm sorry? No. So. There's that. Ooh, what did somebody leave? A garbage. A pail of garbage. I thought I was ready to have you come back on my island. I'm just back on for ages. You're welcome. Meringue left. Oh, no. It completely redo like half my island. You know, it happens. How big is now the cemetery? That cemetery? That cemetery was so funny. Some of y'all got me trib in, like, when I was doing visiting y'all the other day. I swear. I don't remember who had the pics, and I stole that idea to use in mine. Oh my gosh. That was seriously such a good idea. For those of y'all who weren't there, we were I was visiting dream addresses of my subscribers last Friday, and someone's island had a little cemetery, and at the end of all the graves, they had put the photo of the villager that had previously lived on their island and left, and they had made a graveyard for them, and I thought that was the stinking funniest thing. It was very clever. Y'all blew me away with your islands. I thoroughly enjoyed doing that. Uh oh. Are we about to glitch out? Okay. Come on. 
and I have sea turtles and golden sea turtles. I love that. Someone brought me a golden turtle earlier. Was that you? Did you come today? I can't keep keep track of it all. That's the video I was watching. It helped me feel inspired to do stuff on my own island. That's a good video. If you're going to watch any of my Animal Crossing videos, that's a good one to watch. I brought it in Bobby for Apple Seal. Yes. Okay. That's what I thought. I have felt very, like, all over the place today, brain-wise. I'm having a weird brain day. I know the airport loading screen. I'm like, come on. Can you visit people again? That was, I will do more dream address visiting. That was really fun. Um, <laughs> Megs, this is part of the reason I do this is to get rid of my inventory. <laughs> I can always order more. I'm sitting here like, what haven't I crafted? I don't know if I like what I've done. Almost too busy. I don't like when it gets too much. Yeah. I tend to like a little bit tidier. forgot what I needed at Walmart. I hate that. Man, we need cabbage for meals this week and I got, we had to go to two different grocery stores and the second grocery store only had organic cabbage and I didn't realize it was by the pound. It ended up being like a five dollar cabbage and I'm like this red cabbage is not worth five dollars but I need it so we bought it. <sighs> Also, because we were to self-checkout, and at that point, it's like, you just get what you've got and move on. Because the last thing I want to do is go check out with a real human being and have to interact with somebody. I have so many wasps nests. Also, star fragments. We're about to start crafting. Let's craft. I went the wrong direction. Okay. There's some gold stuff. Let's see what kind of star stuff I can craft. The Nova Light's good. This is also a good for me day to do because I feel like I craft when y'all come and go because that way stuff's always out there for y'all to take. But also I'm trying to like fill in all of my stamps. I need a crafty stamp. So this helps with that too. What's up, Danielle? How are you? How's your day going? Go try to hook me up with Thomas? No. No. Oh my gosh, I need to get back into wildflowers. I had fun watching Franz play Stardew the other day. Um, I had forgotten that I had played more Stardew than I thought, but as I was watching her, I was like, 
Okay, I remember this. I remember this. I'm like, I may need that giant statue. Maybe I'm going to get a fossil in front of my museum. I know. And, you know, you can order most of it. Not the, you know, but you still, like, feel the need to hoard it all. I totally get that. How did you make your neighborhoods? I just wanted them to be kind of, like, neat and organized. And I wanted there to not be a lot of space for things to be hidden behind them. That's why I have paths and bushes, like, behind my houses. Uh, cause I don't want there to be a dig spot that I can't get to. And that's why a lot of my houses are along the back of my island as well. Up on that cliff ledge. Because you can't get behind them. Nothing's gonna get lost back there. Let's see. Why is it not... Cat lady and bear. Alexa! How are you? Happy Sunday. It is indeed Sunday. <laughs> wow. Um, I've been streaming for just about an hour. Man, I'm making all kinds of stuff. Where y'all folks at? Coming for my stuff. Alexa, are you taking time off for Thanksgiving or are you having to work? American Thanksgiving is next weekend because wasn't Canadian Thanksgiving in October? Yeah, I learned that from How I Met Your Mother. A show that was alright with a terrible ending. We're re watching it right now, and I'm like, you know, when you go and you watch shows that you loved, and you're like, you watch them at a different point in your life. And you're like, why did I, why did I like this show? Yeah. I'm rewatching it and I'm like, Ted's like insufferable. That show did a really good job of undoing any character growth whatsoever. And the first, I don't know, eight seasons or however many seasons it had, it undid all of it in the last season. Jackie J, thank you for the follow. Canadian Thanksgiving isn't as big as American Thanksgiving. What does Canadian Thanksgiving celebrate um is it similar to like why we celebrate american thanksgiving i guess i could just i've always wondered but you know while i have a canadian here 
probably am not entirely sure. Fair enough. Okay. It's not as hyped. I wish it wasn't as hyped. It's probably not a good idea to be. I don't know. Just our history is so. not what it was. There's no way to say this without getting political about it. History is whitewashed. <laughs> so. You know, I find it hard to believe that the pilgrims and Indians were all sitting around actually like enjoying a meal together, having a good time, shaking hands, being friends. Maybe being recognized as our own country by the British. Okay. I'm just going to keep crafting. I'm going to craft up a storm today. Yes. Hello, how long will your island be open for? What are you doing? Um, so this is my monthly island visiting day. I open it up and let other players come and take things they need. Kind of like a treasure island, but it's not a modded switch. This is just extra stuff I have from playing the same island for like three years. Um, I'm going to have to stop taking visitors in a maximum of like an hour from now. Uh, there is a digital queue you need to get in. Oh, somebody quietly left. Is my island still open? Um, one sec. Okay, it is. Oop, there we go. Hmm. Hopefully your pockets weren't emptied. Definitely double check. I know, but I like to think it was probably an accident. Maybe their connection just dropped. Maybe I don't I don't think people try to do it maliciously. Stuff happens. If they do then that's rude, but I genuinely don't think people do it to be mean. It's usually accidental. You don't realize your switch's battery is about to die. You lose internet connection. You like things happen, truly. Charlo Shack, thank you for the rose. Don't forget to eat your Skittles today, y'all. I love Skittles. Hello, welcome. Yeah, exactly. I, they're, everyone here is pretty cool, so... At first, when it would happen, I would be like, ugh, why? But then people would be like, I'm so sorry, my Wi-Fi disconnected, or I'm so sorry, like, so I had to kind of realize, like, most people are all right. It actually told me on my review which room in my house scored the lowest. Sometimes it does that, or sometimes it'll compliment, like, one of your rooms. And it'll be like, oh, we love your Mario room. Because my whole basement was like Mario. It was the bathroom. Your bathroom scored the high. It scored the lowest. I just ended up getting rid of my bathroom.
You're going to miss today's visit? I'm sorry. I know not everybody can make it to every visit. I wish I could have a time where that's all I do is just like the visit stuff, but... Bye, Ash. Have a good stream. Cute ears. Are those an in-game? I mean, are those an in-game item? It's kind of a silly question. Um, is that a custom head, I guess, would be the question. Okay, let me go check the fruits and things because I haven't checked them in a while. Did I have a lot of gyroids and stuff today? Which is fine. Does anybody like collect the gyroids anymore? What type of restaurant do you go to for Thanksgiving? Um, we went to Texas Day Brazil last year and I think we're going to do the same this year. It's a Brazilian steakhouse. It's fancy and I'm excited. I should have counted, but then I count what I need and I can never remember. So I'm just going to get a little bit of everything here. It is so good. It's the place where they like bring meat out on swords and slice it off at your table. You have to go get in line to get the code. Um, there's only seven people in line right now. Yellow pumpkins. Yeah. Could have grabbed a couple more potatoes too. I've never played a gyroid if any they were going to be this. <laughs> um, I'm going to stop taking visitors about 2.30. It is 1.39 where I am right now because I realize we're not all in the same time zone. I'm at least going to like close the line because I don't want to have to end the stream with people in line. But the way it's going, like... Ooh. Yeah. Time zone twins. Yeah, shout out central time zone. Three yellow pumpkins. I don't know where I keep picking up these flowers. Like, why are the white pansies, like the flower bags in between pumpkins and apples and all that like it shouldn't that's a dumb place for them to go who decided how this was going to get sorted it doesn't make any any sense one peach two potatoes <laughs> y'all are so helpful thank you because i'm just like let me grab some stuff and i don't ever really uh put any thought into it more than that you felt like i was to come to the island yay did i pick up any carrots no <sighs> Highlight for chat. No worries, Becca. How are you today? I saw you came by earlier. Our bear and cat lady coming. Did they come and I missed it? Oh, we had that glitch. I forgot. Let me make sure I'm not missing any chats on here okay how about the golden turtle i know love the golden turtle i'm so excited about the golden turtle apples oh tati i have not even looked at that i still i'm probably not going to do it till the day before
I'm I'm just uh just barely keeping it together these days in my life, so haven't had any time to work on videos. So I'm gonna take these flowers. I have no idea how you get that golden turtle. Um, oh wait, someone told me it was a Katrina gift? Thinking about Christmas makes me depressed, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm... Katrina purification, very rare, okay. Oh my goodness. So many bells. Love a golden turtle. Those were so cool. Tool cart. Let's put some more stuff. <laughs> my honesty. <laughs> What about barely holding it together? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I leave bells out for people to find when they come. Um, visiting days, things like that. I don't think I did that this time. But, um... As I have felt with many things in my life lately, uh, I feel just a little ill-prepared. Got a snowplow on the quad? Oh my gosh, it is... It is like 70 degrees here today. Yeah. I had a beanie on earlier when I left this morning and then I was too hot for that. Thank you. I'll be all right. It's just that time of year where I feel like everything is really stressful. In addition to the fact that like life generally is stressful. You gotta go get in line to get the code. There is a digital queue up. Yeah, it's... I have no idea how those phone cases work, if I'm being completely honest. I seriously have no idea. Uh, there's a web website called turnup.exchange that I use for my digital queue. I have a video pinned on my TikTok profile with how to navigate that. Or if you join the Discord, there is a direct link to the line there. feeling of everything being too much is a heavy slot. I'm glad to see your face again. I like streaming for y'all. It's fun for me. I enjoy doing it. Becca, thank you for the 20 finger hearts. Um, for the phone, you use a DIY table. Oh, okay. Hmm. I've never put a custom case on my phone uh, in the game, and so I had no idea. There we go. Holy moly, y'all brought a lot of extra DIYs. <laughs> I don't have to worry about having enough, because y'all have brought extra. That's above and beyond, you guys. Thank you. That's why I love this, too, because if y'all want to come and empty your pockets out here, 
If you've got extra DIYs that you want to get rid of, or if you've got extra gyroids, they are more than welcome to come here. Share them with other folks. Unicorn is Oogie Boogie. That's so fun. I saw Mason to customize his to look at the Chica Slate from Zelda, and I thought that was really cool. Bye! Bear Kieran? Or maybe Karen? Jane, I'm glad. Welcome. We keep it real here. We have a good time. We play some cozy games. We play some general games. We play some cozy games. But, we keep it real. It's okay to not be okay sometimes. But, this is a lovely group of people. A fantastic group of regulars that are in the chat. And, it's a nice little, it's a nice little group to be part of. So, welcome. This is pretty cool. I like it. All right, lots of clothes still. Let's go see how many fossils we have left. Is that super fancy? Oh, um, I feel like it's just called like vanity, but let's look it up. Cause we can use our, no our Nook Link phone on our phone. Oh, thank you, Em, love you too. Um. Kind of making a treasure island. Yes and no. Today I let people come and visit my island. And Jane, thank you for subscribing. Thank you so much. Woo! Victory screech! Did it make the noise? <laughs> I can't hear it. <laughs> oh. Okay, we're going to the Nintendo Online app on our actual phone. And we're going to the Animal Crossing services. So thank you for the follow. And then we're going to look in our catalog here. We're going to search by name. It's the Fancy Bathroom Vanity. Is this the one that you're thinking of? It's the Fancy Bathroom Vanity. Danielle, thank you for the finger hearts. Yeah, so if you go to, I, I made a video about this recently, it didn't get a whole lot of traction for whatever reason, but you can kind of buy bear, you can kind of search for items in there, and it will tell, like, I just typed in the word vanity in the search, and it's the bunny vanity, the cute vanity, the fancy vanity, the rattan vanity, and the simple vanity. And it will have, it's going to be hard to focus, but over on the side here, there's like the little palette of like paint. Like, then that's the one you can, you can customize those. So this is just the Nintendo Online app. But within the app, there's like these game specific services. And when you tap on the Animal Crossing... Um, it turns your phone into a Nook Link phone that looks like the one in game, but there's some things on here that are um, not in game, like your Nook points that you can go get your points every day and cash them in for items. Yeah, and you can redeem for items, and there's like eight or ten items on here that you can redeem these points for. And then there's also um, your island newspaper, which is actually really helpful if you are tracking turnips, because it will tell you like a seasonal announcement or you know whatever. But um, it'll tell like see it'll tell me the days that I whose vacation home I decorated. But if you scroll to the bottom, there's a turnip tracker, and so it'll tell you the turnip price that I had. Monday through Saturday for bells and you can read back issues and kind of track the trending price of your turnips 
And then you can also use it to chat in game. So, like, I'm going to put my controller down and I'm going to pull my keyboard up on here. Um, Jane, yes, there is, while we're waiting on this, there is a subs only thread in my Discord. If you've joined the Discord, just shoot me a DM and be like, hey, this is Jane, because I know not everybody's username is the same in Discord as on TikTok. Um, you can find the link in my bio here on TikTok, on my main profile. Uh, and there is a subs only chat, and like, today, for the subs, before I even started streaming, I opened the island up to them to come first. I suck at names. Thank you for following. Welcome. Yeah, that too. Welcome. Suko Mars, you are up. I'm going to go ahead and lock the queue. So. All right. I'm going to use my phone and say like, hey. And it should talk in game. And I can type welcome. And it'll send my chat in game instead of me having to pull up the chat box and like type with the controller and you can use your reactions from here as well so having the app especially if you do a lot of like online for Animal Crossing is good stuff I recommend there you are What about Shit's Creek first episode before they got evicted? What about it? It's a good episode. That whole show is fantastic. Dun 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 dun. Yeah, if y'all haven't watched Shit's Creek, I highly recommend it. Dun da dun 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 da 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 Welcome Yeah, that show is very good. It has a lot of heart. It's very it's well written. I enjoyed it. Thanks for tapping, Buck. Have a good day. Ten thousand likes already, my goodness. Oh, I was like, did it get dark? But I guess that was just in a cloud. Okay. I was going to check fossils a hundred years ago. And I totally forgot. Ooh, we got to throw some more fossils out. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Let's toss out two sheds, please. I will be right there. One moment. Let me drop these fossils and I will come down and meet you. There's no room. Bulk drop, yes, I, God. There's so many little things they could do that would improve 
this game. <laughs> if I could like select everything in my pocket and drop it, that would be fantastic. All right, whoever is ready for sheds, I am down here when you are ready. Designer mode outside of the game chain. Yes. There we go. And locking fences. Ugh. The picking up of fences is so annoying. So annoying. And you know what's so weird too in the happy home paradise is when you can like hold the R and select all the furniture to move at once, but it doesn't pick up the rug. Like why wouldn't it pick up the rug? It should pick up the rug as well. It's... It's just like, why did they make these choices? <laughs> I'm in the queue of some fossils drop off. Cool. Bring them on. And hydrate everybody. Rachel, thank you for the follow. Other than that, I think Happy Home Paradise is fun. I think it's well done. I wish things from that part of the game applied to this part of the game still disappointed we can't put our rugs outside honestly jane like the custom codes the custom paths people use for rugs is really cool and it's a really neat idea but honestly i wish i wish it was more i wish design in general was more customizable on here like a lot of the rugs are cute becca thank you for the heart me and julie ann thank you for the roses but you should be able to like customize the size of the rug and the pattern that you want. Hales, thank you for the roses. Danielle, thank you for the heart me. <laughs> like I like those shaggy rugs, but they're huge, you know. Danielle, uh, Hales, thank you for the heart me. <laughs> yeah, ha ha, yeah, ha ha. I don't even know if there's room out there for me to put more items. Love the Happy Home Paradise more lately, but I feel like both worlds feel too separate. Yes, definitely. I struggled to get into Happy Home Paradise in general, but I think once I just kind of let go of the idea that they all needed to be like homes, it really helped kind of unlock the insanity that that game actually can be. And it's a lot of fun. Having a little bit more creative freedom over there and not having to like buy all the items is nice. What do you mean? There's an empty spot right here. That's so weird. Uh-oh. Maybe that's why. Uh-oh. I don't know if any of my village, they probably are. 
Someone's always crafting, right? But I don't know. You can't get to any of their houses. I didn't bother checking. This has been a relatively, like, quiet visiting day, but in general, like, some of them get crazy, and so I have made some choices when I do the visiting days to help smooth trans transitions a little bit. Um, like, I block off the Able Sisters because people will go in there and shop for clothes, and then... And then get stuck, people will get stuck in the airport, not being able to come or go, because you're in a conversation in the tailor shop. Or, that's why I try to block my villagers off as well, because the fewer people you can engage in conversation and have chat boxes open with the NPCs, or have a reason to have your Nook phone out, the less it prevents people from coming and going in a timely manner. Some days it do be popping. Yeah. So, because I didn't always... <laughs> I love this set of choices here. Rumor-mongering lawn clippings, cilantro <laughs> from Chipolio. That's, that's funny. <laughs> Something I need to work on for next game. I would say take our suggestions. My gosh. <sighs> love me some Nintendo. Just in general. It's always been my console of choice. But they really seem to just not give a hoot about what we want as fans. Or else they would have ported Twilight Princess and Wind Waker to the Switch as soon as they started with their expansion series. Um, they would have continued upgrading this Animal Crossing. Like, I don't understand some of the choices they make because I feel like from a someone who's yeah I guess they don't want more money yeah I, I don't understand they have the opportunity to create all these expansion packs in the way and I always compare it to the sims in the way that like the sims has all these expansion packs well do you know how many sims expansion packs I've bought it's a it's it's a lot it's not zero by any means but they're just like no we're good. We don't want your Animal Crossing money. Aww. Which seems crazy to me. Do you play Webkins? I don't. I played Neopets a long time ago. Is that the same thing? I'm going to really age myself here. It's a lot of fun. Okay. Neopets was the jam, man. I missed The Sims. I think Sims 2 was the last one. It crashed my computer so much. Sims 4 is free on Steam for the PC, but the expansion packs are where it costs money. So, um, it's cool. Check it out. Danielle, thank you for the finger hearts. I love Neopets. Yeah. Here's my people. <laughs> We're going to be all relatively the same age then, probably. Professional headphones. Webkins is okay, cute though. Yeah, I think I was a bit like older for Webkins when they were becoming a thing. Jensen! It is indeed visiting day. I zwinky. I've never heard of that. Yeah, I did all virtual as well. There's an in-game chat room. Like a penguin with both boys and girls. Oh my gosh. 
Hmm. Yeah, what's up, Sev? Hey! I mean, but yeah, we were all on Omegle too, right? <laughs> it shouldn't have been. ASL, right? <laughs> yeah. literally the first thing to ask honestly honestly I shopped with the sisters today got a biker look going on I saw that look flashbacks yeah anyone who knows what I'm talking about like are we all using our under eye cream because it's time <laughs> yeah yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <coughs> oh, got all your serums and we wearing sunscreen and things now. We were aimed to let a boyfriend I chatted with on there, honestly. Hey, Mare Bear, how are you? Happy Sunday. Welcome. We're aging ourselves. Aging ourselves today. Talking about Neopets and Omegle and back when you had like a Zanga page. Hey, Sammy. <laughs> Rip Omegle. Oh my gosh. There was someone I had, we were talking about dial up internet and he didn't know what I was talking about and he had to like go Google the sound of dial up internet. And I said, wow, I will just go lay down in my grave now. So. <laughs> and I'm grateful that I don't have access to my Zynga anymore because Lord knows what young teenage Shannon was writing. No one needs, no one needs that. It might have been an accident. The quiet leaving was probably on accident. Oh, I don't remember. I'm just sure it was... I adore this live one too. Yeah. Welcome to the old ladies club. Millennials club. Here's extra iron nuggets that I didn't use. And here are your sword sheds. There you go. <laughs> you don't want the iron nuggets? I'll keep them. Bye, cat lady. Jenny is up. It's Jenny's turn. All right. Sorry, I have to keep checking my Discord in case someone messages me on there. Okay. Live journal. Can we share creams next live? I use the Fittish line. Highly recommend. <laughs> Keeps me young.
Yeah, I've used that line for a while. Use the face wash in the shower. Then I use the under eye cream. And then there's like a toned down spray and then a moisturizer. It's got a, it's like a CBD line. So it just gave me a different, it's okay. It happens. If it says somebody is on their Nook phone, then um, someone's open in their pockets or something. That's common. I'm not without grace. I usually give you like 15 minutes to come before I'm like, where are you? So it's all good. All right. Sorry if y'all can hear my husband coughing. He's allergic to cats, and I'm pretty sure there were a lot of cats where we were yesterday. We couldn't see them, but they were there. So he's all like snuffly today. The stuff I was trying to put out earlier. Will we eventually get a pup? I would like to, but I'm torn because I also enjoy the freedom of being like, Let's just go out of town today. And then we go out of town and we don't have to worry about like, but who's gonna let the dog out? And can we take the dog and all this kind of stuff. So there is, there is a freedom to not having anyone else depend on you that I quite enjoy. You're welcome, have a good day. Just dropped five fossils, thank you. You can't take your pup everywhere. Not all hotels are dog free. Not every place is dog for is is dog friendly. Sorry, that's what I meant. Been trying to connect my phone to my TV to see you better, but it's not letting me. Hmm. I don't know. My phone has never connected to my TV. Right? Technology. Yeah, a good friend of mine has two dogs, two small dogs, and she travels with and stuff, and, um, I don't know. The turtle doesn't require much, so he's easy to be like, here's some food, see you in a week, like, he's cool. But he's a, he's a low-maintenance dude. You're welcome. Turtles bruminate. It's kind of like hibernation. Um, but a lot of like reptiles do it. He's a lot. Because we keep him in a like controlled environment. Because he's in a tank with like heaters and lights on timers and things like that. Um, not as much. He gets a lot less active during this time of year. It's that kind of thing where we'll go in and be like, is he alive? Okay, he's good. And, you know, that kind of thing. And he doesn't eat as much this time of year. But generally, like, he's not one of, I see those, like, free-roaming turtles um, here on TikTok, and they, like, bury them, and they bruminate for months. And I'm like, oh, that's so cool much more like natural I suppose our, our little fella ain't like that our guy's cool he's he's kind of a punk but we like him I was telling Meg Pie if y'all if y'all watch Meg she's another streamer on here that I really like highly recommend following um she has a camera for her dog uh, the Danny cam and I was like I'm gonna get a camera for my turtle <laughs> 
<laughs> but I don't know that uh, that would be worth anything if the turtle would even like do anything. But just lay there and be like, you know, turtles. <laughs> you and Franz, yeah, because Franz has Bojack, the beardy. I'd watch the turtle, yeah. Because her beardy bruminates too. My citrus turtle is a riot. Oh, my sister's getting around drinks today. What are they drinking, huh? I know, I'd have to move his tank in here. His tank's like on the other side of the house. His name is Mad Eye Moody, and he lives up to his name. I did not name him, he came with that name. And I rolled with it, because it fits him. Watch this inspire me. Am I going to play any soon in my call room? Yes, go. Yeah. Sticky had a soda and Tutu looks like a mixed drink. Oh, they having some fun on your, on your island today. See if I've got more flooring, or we can make some. Let me just plot a little bit of everything here. I played Granny for the first time today. How was it? I love that people are still playing scary games. That makes me happy. Do you like scary things, Sammy? I was on practice mode and could not win. Okay, slowly getting into it. All right. That's something. To babysit for the family and they would play some granny game too. Is it really just called granny game or is that what everybody calls it? Like, I've seen a list playing it a lot and I wondered, like, is that the actual name of the game? It's called, it's literally called granny. Okay. Young saying it was too scary. It's on Steam for five dollars. I might have to look into it. I still want to go back and get the rest of the endings for Mortuary Assistant. Oh, not customize. Uh, the money for mortuary assistant yeah it's fun but it's so scary but like i think the first time you play is the is definitely the scariest because you don't know what's going to happen and i hadn't watched a lot of gameplay of it before i played it um but then you kind of get the gist of it and um because there's like six You get used to the chaos. Yeah, that's true. You get you get used to the chaos. But I appreciate... I think I'm lagging, so I'm going to wait. I appreciate that, like, still the gameplay is a little different every time. Because the last time I played was right around Halloween. When there were the clowns in there, that was horrible. <sighs> Did not enjoy the clowns. It was a good Halloween edition, because with those clowns. Oh, excuse me. Watch Santa be in the Christmas edition. That would be funny. I was trying to think, like, what would be in the Christmas edition? And also, like, are they going to do, like, a Christmas Suica? I would play that.
I mean, if you don't have any new ideas, I wouldn't start over. Um, just go look at Pinterest or go um, check out um, like some other YouTubes or other Animal Crossing streamers to get some inspo and just work on what you got because the starting over on this game, the intro is just tedious, just personally. Yeah, watch a DA is a good suggestion, Telly. A Christmas, a Suica Christmas edition would be really fun. What would the big one be? Like a giant ornament or like... Something like that. A cookie for Santa. That would be fun. I like that. Maybe just like a big square present just to really throw it all off. Like a big round Santa. Like an inflatable circular Santa. Where he's just like... Looking as grumpy as the other. I love starting over. Start over in a couple weeks and I got three stars today. Nice. Do you start over to do like different themed islands and things? Save the dream addresses? That kind of play? I definitely want to do another dream address day. You just got five stars, Lily of the Valley. Congratulations! Yes! Uh, I'll be back if you're still on. Bye, Sammy! If I don't see you again, I get bored once I don't have my house to pay off anymore and I feel a little lost. Okay. That's fair. Yeah, it took me forever to get to five stars as well. Let's see. I've been making a lot of items, so now I'm going to do some, like, wallpapers and stuff to put out there. Where's the no star flooring? I know there is. I'm probably just, like, missing something for it. I have so many wasps' nests. I save, like, all of them. I forget to come in here and craft with them. Because I know you can craft medicine from the wasp nest, but you can also craft these, like, honeycomb floors and stuff, and the bees, the beekeeper hive. And I think that's really fun, too. Glowing moss rug, anyone? The glowing moss set is so good. I love the glowing moss set. I think for a set that's really specific, it's got a lot of variety of things you can do with it. Because we used a bunch of glowing moss DIYs the other day in that vacation home where we did like alien dig site. <laughs> storage shed Ooh. what's up bear bear shout out to that alien storage shed alien storage <sighs> whatever my brain today is not 100% let me tell ya Ooh, Franz is streaming Stardew right now. Yeah! Emmett, where I can have no tables? The restaurant is virtually empty. Oh no! That's annoying. Well, hang out with us here for a while.
feel like I learned more of what I could have, like, could have done. Yeah, I keep it pretty basic with the decorating, but, man, that was eye-opening with the dream address visits the other day. Let me tell ya. Bye, have a good day. Hope you got some good stuff. Jesse. Jesse is up. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and let the next one come too. Yes, I posted it yesterday. Because um, I knew I wasn't going to get to stream yesterday. So, um, it is post. It's a long stream. Like, it's like a four and a half hour stream. But also, I listed all the dream addresses in the description as well. So, if y'all want to go and visit those those dream addresses yourself, they are listed in the description of that video. Yes, they're listed in the description in the order in which they were visited. <laughs> because anything else would be crazy. So... That was a good stream. Highly recommend going back and watching that one if y'all missed it. Got our last few visitors coming here. It's going to be a little bit shorter of a visiting day. Mostly because it's been a little more low-key than a lot of the visiting days I've done before. But also because... I got stuff to do today. Does Twitch pay good? I don't know. I don't stream on Twitch. Um, I used to dual stream, but now I'm only here on TikTok. TikTok exclusive. And I will say that it is a hobby that pays for itself. For sure. Hey, doing stuff on a Sunday. Yeah, we always get up Sunday morning and do our grocery shopping and whatnot. And usually we can find some really good deals. But I think because it's the week of Thanksgiving, like nothing's on sale. And um, so that's kind of annoying. But we did our grocery shopping this morning, ate some food, but I'm going to work out today. Because um, they're closed Thanksgiving and Black Friday, so I can't go then. And then I'm getting tattooed on Saturday because I had to cancel my tattoo appointment last week because I was sick. And she happened to have a last minute cancellation next week and I grabbed it up real quick so that we could do my tattoo Saturday instead. Sunday is usually a relatively busy day for me. Like, I've got laundry in the washing machine right now, all kinds of stuff. I think we're going to do my knee. Um, we're going to do a pretty little piece across my knee. So that'll be fun. Uh, I have a YouTube channel. If you go to my profile here on TikTok, you'll be able to find it there in my bio. Um, everything you could need to find there. I need to be careful about how I word this. So, uh, but all my old streams are uploaded there. Uh, there's like hours and hours of gameplay. So, <laughs> of course. Of course. You can also find this there. We model my own shirt. So... I know, I wear it during the stream, and then you see this much of me where you can't even see it. So, those are there too. Go check it out. <laughs> yes, yes, let me come down and craft your shed.
Y'all be bringing me all these extra iron nuggets. Here's your extra iron nuggets and let me craft the rest. Let's craft! All done. There you go. You're welcome. Take your extra iron nuggets, please. Those were extra. There you go. Okay. I always do this where I do a ton of crafting right at the, like, I mean, I've been crafting through this whole thing, but right at the end here, what I really need to be doing is um, making sure my storage, you need a man mannequin to model your shirt behind you. I should, I should get a mannequin. Oh, it's all good. What are you making, Alexa? Beef and egg noodles, all right. Hi, how are you? Welcome. I made a Connie salad for my starter. That all sounds delicious. We're doing egg roll bowls this week. We're doing like a ground pork and turkey combo. Egg roll bowls. Bam, bam, bing. Beep, 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 beep. Ooh, is there a recipe section? I think there's a food section on Discord, so definitely post there if you want. I think that's everything. Make sure I put all the artwork out. I feel like I don't have a ton of real artwork this time. I know what happened to kick me out of here and put you in Franz's stream. I mean, if it's going to kick you out of here, it's cool that it puts you in a friend's stream. <laughs> I know she's trying to stardew again, which is cool. It looked like a lot of fun. Because I know she tried to play it before and had not enjoyed it. But it's a lot more fun when you have people, like, in chat to help. It makes it a lot less, like, daunting. To just try to figure it all out. Tidy this up a little bit. Yeah, we, okay, so for meal prepping, we did HelloFresh for a while because we just got so burned out making the same thing all the time. And I listen to podcasts and they always have like HelloFresh discount codes for podcasts. And so, um, but we kept all the like recipe cards that they come with. So every once in a while we'll go and pull one of those out because we kept all the recipe cards that we liked and just cook something from there. So the egg roll bowl is a HelloFresh meal. I sure did. If it's out there, it's yours to grab. Sometimes I order extra of those and I just randomly throw them out there, but I don't like tell people. So, <laughs> it's cool. It's like the artwork. Like, all the artwork you find on my island should be real. I just toss it out there um, for people to grab. Because for the most part, like, these are nice to do. It helps me clear stuff out, helps y'all get stuff. 
but there was a there was I mean a few months ago I was doing this and people were like I'm looking for this artwork um do you have this I need this I see that you have that in your storage shed because I'm watching your live I want you to save that purple couch for me or what and I was like whoa 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 that's that's not what this is um so now I just throw stuff out there <laughs> you get what you get <laughs> and mostly I just run around and try to keep things organized yeah, like, so if y'all see, like, in the Discord, I posted that kind of long list of rules, and, I mean, and again, 99% of y'all, I don't have to worry about. You're normal, kind people who are just here to, like, have a good time, but those people are... Or people will watch the live and watch what I pull out of my pocket to go restock. And I'll be down here, like, dropping stuff. And they'll, like, swarm my character. And it's a lot. Um, I don't enjoy that either. So I, got to, I had to be like, y'all need to back off of me. Like, I know that's not me. But, like, so it got bad for a while. Yeah, like it's, it's, it's calming down, everybody. But generally, like, I enjoy doing this. This is very cool. Like, it's a nice thing to do for everybody. But that was the whole thing where it was like, if it's going to continue like this, this is definitely going to be like a subs only thing because, um, at least. I've never had problems with my subscribers. Cool. All right, excellent. Excellent, excellent. Let's see what kind of stamps we have and what else I need to do here. I think I have like a lot of furniture left to DIY, yeah. We can go see what the hot item of the day is. Try to craft that. A tiki torch and a sugar crepe. Bye, Telly. Have a good night. You got your flea stamp today. Yay! Are fleas in season for you? Are they still in season? I mean, I guess they are. Flour and sugar. Do I even need a cooking stamp? First time I'd seen one, okay. I don't need a cooking stamp. Okay, so what about the tiki torch? That's a tree branch and wood. Okay. How did Cherry get into my yard? Oh, that's right. My side fence is still open. Yeah, you just kind of have to Google it. Um, there's not really a better answer than that. Wood and branch. Got a lot of branches. Don't have a ton of wood. Because I'm missing two. One of them is New Year's, it's like a New Year's Eve celebration. Or like New Year's celebration, whatever. And the other one is something to do with customization. That I need to figure out. 
That's the only like big rectangle ones I'm missing. The rest of them I just need to fill in. Because like I am never playing on Saturday nights and I have so many KK concerts to catch up on and like I never send postcards. So that kind of stuff I have to like actively make myself do. So that is one reason I enjoy doing this on visiting days is I'm going to sit here I'm going to craft a bunch of stuff for y'all because it helps me get my stamp and also I can put stuff out for y'all to take home. I'm just going to craft until I'm out of these supplies, and then I'll go sell them. Plus, it's a hot item. I mean, not that I need bells, but if you're in need of bells, this is a good way to, like, kill several birds with one stone. Get your crafting stamps for your miles, so you have some extra miles. And then if you sell your hot items, make some extra money. Because, I mean, raw materials, like with the foods, especially with the cooking, the raw materials never sell for as much as the completed and cooked item will. We're going to have a tiki party. Okay. I think that was the only one, the last one we could. Yeah. I like those wood partitions. I don't use them enough in my homes here, but I like using them in my vacation homes for stuff. They look really good. I believe people didn't buy stuff from Nook's Cranny. That's kind of surprising. Usually all these items are sold. All right. Look at that. Almost 17,000 bells for tiki torches. You forgot to go in there. Yeah, you can totally go in Nook's Cranny. Nook's Cranny, I don't block off, but um, Able Sisters, I do. Oh, that was a little glitchy, wasn't it? Marshall trapped behind Nicholas Cage. It is a little laggy. That's weird. If I time travel and use the turn of exchange in their normal time, will it rot my turnips? No. The leaves are craftable, like because like if you're in a different time than someone else's island, no, it doesn't matter. It only matters on your island, the time the time with the turnips and everything. Happy Sunday from Kansas. Happy Sunday from Texas. Is it snowing up there in Kansas yet? I mean, that's a silly question. It probably has, right? It's November. It's it's 70 and, like, sunny today here, so I, I don't have a concept of winter.
always miss those. No snow for us yet in Casey. Okay. Oh, I guess that was the last person. Look at all these people just like congregating in my yard. The leaves are for DIYs, yes. There's, if you look in the like second section here, it's the seasonal stuff. So all of this is gonna use like your acorns, maple leaves, mushrooms are in season right now. Um, yeah, the rare mushrooms are the ones you dig, I believe, but, um, all your seasonal DIYs are here. Pine cones, maple leaves, all the turkey day stuff is seasonal right now. Um, oh, oh no, I didn't realize somebody was still here. I'm so sorry. I wasn't trying to rush you out. I'm sorry. I thought... I thought Jesse was the last one. Um, yeah, also if you want Animal Crossing friends, the Discord is in my profile. You can find everything you need here in my TikTok profile. And go to the Discord there. And there is a channel in my Discord to share your Switch codes. And there is a ton of people who have shared their switch codes there. So if you're looking for friends, you can also do that. I don't mind if you share your code in chat, but that's also a resource for you. Um, so that's going to be it for today. Um, yeah. If I don't see y'all again before Thanksgiving, which who knows if I will, because I am working the next three days. <sighs> Not in the next three days, I won't, Jane. Maybe Thanksgiving morning I'll wake up and stream. I don't know. We'll have to see how call goes because I'm on call Wednesday night to Thursday morning. I don't know. Um, but turn those notifications on the Discord because I do. And turn your notifications on here on TikTok as well. Um, I hope everybody has a good holiday if you choose to celebrate. And I will see y'all next time.